Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books and it's Friday and if you haven't read it, it's new to you. Now, when Karen Hayes and I opened this store in 2011, one of my main goals was to sell people copies of Act One by Moss Hart. It had been published in 1959 and it's one of my favorite books and I have no idea how it is I've gotten this far in the series without doing a video about Act One. I first heard about this book well, long before the bookstore was open on This American Life. And there was an audio essay by a young woman who had read Act One and fell in love with Moss Hart because she read the book. Moss Hart died in 1961 and this person was very young, but she became obsessed with him and obsessed with the book. And the essay was so compelling that I went out and bought a copy of the book and I completely understood what she was talking about. I loved the book. It is the story of Moss Hart's life. He was born in 1904 to a very poor family in New York and how he tries to break into the theater. And the book ends on the night that his first Broadway smash opens. And the idea was that there was going to be another book called Act Two about his life as an incredibly successful playwright. But unfortunately, Moss Hart died in 1961. A couple of fun facts. He was married to Kitty Carlisle Hart, which for those of us of a certain age, you might remember her from Truth or Consequences and What's My Line. I adored Kitty Carlisle Hart. And also, maybe a month ago, Lin-Manuel Miranda stopped in the store to say hello and I was going around trying to recommend books to him, which he was asking me to do. By the way, most charming human being I have ever met. Everything that you would hope Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda is, he is. And I picked up a copy of Act One and I was like, have you read Act One? And he looked at me like, um, are you out of your mind? Is there anybody who hasn't already read a copy of Act One? He said, this is the bedrock of all theater. Enjoy. Thanks so much.